So a few people have asked how Gravity Forms can end up populating custom fields in MemberPress, and I just want to do a quick overview on this. So here we are in the MemberPress options. We see that um, we have the ability to add custom fields here of various types. I'm going to just do this as text for now, and I just put favorite color as the main uh, of the name of my um, field that I want to add as a meta field. So that's in there. Now one thing to note is we have to figure out what is MemberPress actually saving as the name? How is it being saved in the um, user's meta field? Now let's just make sure first. So here I am at my WordPress profile and if I come down here I see the favorite color field here. Let's put a random easy number that I can search for there. I'm going to update that. And the reason I'm not putting like blue or something is because I, I'm going to now search the database for this specific little code that I just entered. And I don't want blue to just come up in a number of different places. So let's copy that. And I'm just going to show you kind of where the data is stored. So I'm going to, I'm here in my local PHP uh, admin. And what I'm going to do is a database search for the thing I just entered. Now what you'll know is that um, MemberPress saves that data under uh, user meta options table. So user P WP user meta table is the place where you're going to find that. And we found the uh, the field that I just entered. Here it is. And you'll notice um, here's the value I entered. Also here's the key. So this is really what MetaPress, I'm mean, sorry, MemberPress is storing as the meta key for this field. So we want to copy this because we're going to want to know exactly what that is. It's not just favorite underscore color, it's MEPR underscore and then the, the words we wrote with any spaces as an underscore. So that's helpful to know. So let's say I want to make a new form then, or I want to, to make sure that our gravity forms populates that on maybe a user registration. So let's go to our um, test form here, and I'm actually going to go into the form itself, and I put favorite color as as a field here. Now note that if I hadn't already done that, it doesn't show up automatically. Um, I just had that because I had done it before, but if we were wanting to make sure that that, mem that, you know, that WordPress user's meta field was populated when someone, you know, registers through our gravity forms, then we're going to want to bring, you know, a brand new single um, line text down here. I'll put it down below, and I'm going to again name this favorite color. You can name it whatever you want. This part doesn't have to match so much. Update my form here, and the important part here is now we're going to go down to user registration. So of course you need this if you are planning to um, want to make sure that you're populating a WordPress user's field. That's very important. But down here we have the user meta section, and we can look and see if there's any member press uh, favorite color, and there is one, so that's pretty cool, right? So that's the first start, is just look for that. Um, you know, we didn't have, I mean, you don't have to go into the database like I did, obviously. Just kind of look for what you wrote as the field name, um, and you should be able to find it after doing so whether you added that field in this uh, gravity forms or not because just adding it to the member press options in the fields tab should bring this up you know so now we're just going to make sure that it's matched to a field on our gravity form so again this is the user meta for Word, user meta for wordpress and this is the uh, fields that we have on our form as you can see they match up to our form and again i just created that favorite color so now these are matched up so let's test this out and see if it's working now. Um, the easiest way would be to start a brand new, um, a brand new private window because we cannot be logged in if we're going to register a new user, right? Okay, so here I am at my test form. Got a fake email here, and I'm just going to choose my favorite color, blue. I'm gonna have to put in there credit card because this is a sample uh, payment system. Let's see if that works. Hopefully my card number is right. Otherwise I'll have to do this again. 
but yeah, looks like it worked. Now what I want to do is see if that showed up. And so I'm gonna log in and check it out. So now let's go into this test user that I just made. See if it shows up now. And lo and behold, there it is, showing up in my member press meta field that was created in the again the member press options. So you can do that and have the same results.